Alright my friends and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be creating an absolutely epic chippy butty. If you don't know what a chippy is, that is a fish and chip shop, and if you don't know what a butty is, that means sandwich. For some reason, us Brits like creating words up. <laughs> anyway, this thing is going to be absolutely epic. Basically, it's going to be a giant fish and chip sandwich with a few other different goodies that I got from the fish and chip shop. But yeah, I might have messed up already because the bread that I've got is not ideal for this kind of thing. It's a very crusty bread that I've got. But with that said, let's create this absolutely epic sandwich. All right, so this is the bread that I actually got. Like I say, it's not ideal. It's a big kind of um, sourdough loaf. It's literally the biggest one that I could find. Um, now the ingredients that I've actually got to go in this means it's probably gonna be really high, but not very, um, not very wide. But it's the best I could do. I couldn't find a bigger bread bun. It's very crusty as well, which might prove to be uh, a bit of a challenge, but that is intense. Right, you can't have a sandwich without butter. So I've got some butter. Utterly butterly. 8% less saturated fat because we're trying to be healthy here. Now, I've bought a whole bunch of stuff. I spent £30 in the chippy on all kinds of things that I don't even know is gonna, gonna fit inside of this, so. Wow. Chippy chips. Right, that's the chips. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll give it a bit of moisture. Um, I got mushy peas and gravy. I think I'll stick some of this gravy on. Jesus Christ, look how thick that is. It's like cement. Break it apart. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> okay. I don't know how. I might not be able to get all four bits of cod on this because that's already quite big by itself. Oh, breaking apart. It's fine. Oh man. That's already pretty ridiculous in itself, to be honest. I don't know why it's disintegrating so much, to be honest. I mean, that is just ridiculous. That is just a mountain of fish. Right, we've still got fish cakes and battered sausages to go on it, so... Right, I think what I'm going to do is add a bit of... Um, a bit of these mushy peas just to kind of... Once again, make it a bit more... Moist. I don't know I'm going to do this. I think we'll do the fish cakes. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. Then <laughs> and we'll do the battered sausages. There's no way on earth I can eat this like an actual sandwich. Some more of this gravy on. Use it like glue. It's pretty much what it is anyway. I mean, the sides kind of collapse, but. And, um,. Well, there we have it. That is the, uh, that is probably the most impractical sandwich I've ever seen. It's kind of slowly collapsing. All right, with that said, this is the ultimate chip shop sandwich of Buddy. Three, two, one, time is gone. There's literally no way I can eat it like an actual, like an actual sandwich. Right, well, <laughs> we'll start with a battered sausage. I'm just gonna make a big old pile of ketchup. And that kind of uh, helped cool it down a bit. All right, so the battered sausage is down. Um, I think I'll do the fish cakes next. Massive fish cakes, covered in gravy. Honestly, if I go to Chippy, fish cakes are my go-to thing. I love them. We've basically just got fish, chips and bread left. So I'm going to actually use a fork for this because there's a lot of shrapnel. I've got to say, this is tasting great so far. It's all clean on the front. You should see the back. It's like... I think a bomb's gone off. Right, I'm going to try to eat one more fish off the top and then try and make a sandwich. Um, I don't know how easy that's going to be though.
this is messy. What I'm gonna do, put a bit more ketchup on it. Now, oh my god, itself, that's, whew, that's a hefty loaf of bread. I'm just gonna smush it down. Now, can you just take a second to appreciate that? Even that in itself is a challenge. Now, question is, can I eat it like a sandwich? Oh, that bread. Oh my god. That is the crunchiest bread in the world. This is going to take some getting through this. I... Oh, this was a mistake. The bread. It's literally going to take me like 30 minutes just because of this bread. There's nothing I can do other than pour water on it, which I'm not going to do. Look how thick the bread is. It's like a hard pillow. This is just carbs on carbs on carbs. Butter. Chips and bread. Ugh. It's mainly chips and bread now. Chips and bread. A normal sandwich now, and a few scraps. Oh, I'm getting really bored of it now. Oh. Last little bit of bread. Oh, oh, oh. The bread is down. I am happy to see the end of that. I'm not finishing that little flake of fish there. I don't care. 35, 23. I'll be honest, I would have got that down so much faster if it wasn't for that bread. Oh, it's cut all my gums up. But I've got to say, that was delicious. Absolutely amazing. Love the fish cakes. The bread tasted good, just very crunchy. But with that said, I think it is time for dessert. All right, and I'm back. With dessert. Now, I don't quite know why I went for this dessert because this right here is bread and butter pudding. My thinking was that was a very British meal that I just had. I might as well have a British dessert, but then after all that bread that I just ate, I don't really want bread anymore. But with that said, we have got bread and butter pudding. It's kind of over contrasted, but whatever. Perfect way to finish off a giant meal. I didn't make this, by the way, it's from, uh, from Lidl. Unreal.